educator at the Greensboro Children's Museum. Today, we will be talking about our pets. If you don't have any pets at home, that's okay. I want you to think about your favorite animal. I know for me, I get inspired by my pets every single day. Let me introduce you to them. This is my sweet dog, Taco, and she's seven. This is Oliver, and he is five. This is Reese. She's still a kitten. She's a calico cat. And this is her silly brother, Lou. They're the exact same age. Now, I want you to have your pet or your favorite animal locked in your brain. Now that you have them locked in, let's think of some ways to create activities or pieces of art that are inspired by them. I'm going to start off with a piece of art inspired by Oliver. So I've taken a real picture of Oliver and I've put some tracing paper over his picture and I'm tracing the outline of him with a pencil. If you don't have tracing paper, you can always put the real picture on the window and then put a piece of notebook paper or a piece of printing paper over it so you can see through it really well. Or you don't have to trace at all, you can just freehand. Now I'm taking some really colorful markers and I'm outlining Oliver and I'm going to give him a really neat background. For this part, you can use any color you want. I chose different shades of green that then eventually branch out to yellow and orange. You don't even have to use marker for this part. Get really creative. You can use paint or pencil or anything else that you can think of. Now that I've colored in all of my background around my outline of Oliver, it's time to get my other materials ready. So I have scissors, glue, and some leftover pieces of scrap paper that I'm going to start ripping up and taping around the outline of Oliver. If you have some newspapers or some magazines that you're no longer using, that's a really good way to use them as well. Here comes the extra fun part. Now's the time where you get to rip up your paper. You can cut out pieces too, but I think it's a lot more fun and it looks a little bit neater if you start ripping up paper. So I'm ripping up different scrapbook papers. I chose orange because that's what color Oliver is. So I'm putting different pieces of paper that sort of fit. You'll find that it works like a puzzle sometimes because you've ripped up different pieces of paper and a lot of times they fit in perfectly. If they don't, it's okay to rip off different pieces. So you're going to keep doing this until all of the orange is filled up. During this, I kept checking back at my actual picture of Oliver just to make sure that I was doing him justice. I was making sure to stick in all of the orange parts where he has orange fur and going around the parts where he has white fur. You'll notice as I'm sticking on the orange, there are going to be some pieces of paper that hang over the bottom. And that's okay for now. Don't worry about that. Just worry about filling in your spaces as best as you can. As you can see, I've finished putting all of my paper on. I've used different kinds of scrapbook paper, printer paper, and green construction paper. Now see how I flipped the paper over and I'm cutting off the extra pieces that were hanging over. Now I'm putting together a side-by-side -side of the real picture and the picture that I've made. So what I'm going to do next is grab some fine tip markers and then start adding in the details. So I'm shading in his eyes and his nose. If you don't want to use markers, you can use crayons or paint. And here we have my final version of my Oliver picture. Could you think of some other activities or pieces of art that you could create inspired by your pets or your favorite animal? It doesn't have to be on a piece of paper. You could write a song, you could create a game, you could go outside and take pictures of your animals. Please let us know what you do and how you're inspired by your pet or your favorite animal. Please let us know on our Facebook or our Instagram and we'll see you later.